Hello YouTube. I'm sitting in my mod shop today and I decided I will be deleting my 6700K. And I didn't, I'm not doing this just purely because I believe that it will make my CPU's temperatures a lot better or just improve its performance overall. I've more just been reading a lot about this lately and it's actually really interested me. Um, I see so many results of people getting actually a lot better temperatures by using um, a thermal interface material like Coolabs Ultra like I used. Uh, so I just, I wanted to, you know, see if it was actually the real deal and not just a bunch of BS. I have this video here today that just goes over the entire process of doing the delitting and then I will go over some uh, benchmarks that I ran with you guys so you can actually see the results for yourself and then make your decision on whether or not you think that this would be something that you would do. For the materials and tools you'll need, um, to start we'll just go over the cleaning stuff. I got like a Brillo pad here, um, I got some coffee filters for wiping down with some isopropyl alcohol. I like to use coffee filters just because uh, they don't leave any lint behind or any debris. You can also use uh, Q-tips, but they will leave some little furries behind sometimes, so just watch out for that. You don't want to leave any residue. Uh, a little scraper of some sort. You can use a credit card, but something more like this kind of helps. Um, and then, as far as actual tools go, I am using the Rocket 88 uh, delitting tool for the 1151 chips and I believe a couple others. Um, so I just ordered this online. I'll leave a description or I'll leave a link to their website in the description. Uh, it's actually a really useful website. I think you guys should all check it out, especially if you buy their tool. Uh, I know Der Bauer also makes one and I think he primarily is like shipping from Europe. So any Europeans out there? Check out Der Bauer. I'll leave a link to his delitting tool as well. So, that's all that that is. Uh, you'll obviously see how it works in the video, but it just comes with an Allen wrench to turn the key here and so on and so forth. I also picked up the relitting tool that uh, Rocket 88 makes. Uh, I thought it was really useful, and for like another eight bucks, um, it was definitely well worth it. It just made relitting that much easier um, and then I also have some cool labs ultra liquid thermal interface material um, I just found this to be like the best rated over every forum and every review I could find on it everyone was saying that this is uh, some of the best stuff you'll just have to see the results for yourself and you let me know what you think of it um, I used Arctic Silver 5 on the actual top of the heat spreader between that and the water block. Uh, you can use Coolabs Ultra, but it's some pretty corrosive stuff, so I don't like letting it get near any of my other components. So I just recommend using Arctic Silver 5. And then also some super glue. Quick drying is pretty good. This stuff, it still takes like at least an hour to two hours to actually dry a decent amount. Um, this or like Loctite uh, super glue works just fine. But as far as that goes, all you need other than that is your CPU. So let's move on to actually delitting one. Okay, guys, so. I've now removed the 6700K from my motherboard, so we're just going to start to clean it off here a little bit. So there we go, we got it clean. Now let's get out our little delitting tool here. So you take your CPU and you line up the gold triangle to the triangle in the delitting tool. It just sits in there just like it sits in your motherboard. You place this guy right on top and you take your three little thumb screws here. You thread them in. And they're just supposed to be finger tight so you don't have to go too crazy. It's just supposed to hold everything in place. So I'm just getting them started right now.
There we go, they're all pretty finger tight. So we got the 6700K in there. It's ready to be delitted. So here we go. I'm gonna take our little Allen wrench here and we'll start threading this. I suppose we can tear their finger there. You can see it sliding up right there with that set screw. So we'll have to do a little more leverage. Let's start this. There's quite a bit of resistance, so we're just going to take our time. There we go. I think you heard it. Back this guy out. Should be delitted now. We won't need this screw in there to relit it, so I'll take that out. Undo the thumb screws, this is why you just finger tighten them. Shouldn't have to use anything to get them out. And I'm just going to leave it in there, but. There we go. That's one delitted 6700K. That was pretty easy. All with the Rocket 88 delitting tool. So we're gonna put the top half to the side. Like I said, this, this works as a pretty good holder for it. That way you don't damage anything in the bottom. You can just leave it there. So the first task now that we have it delitted is to clean everything. So if you happen to get Cool Labs Ultra, um, liquid thermal interface material it came with a little Brillo pad so I'm gonna use that on this at least but I'm probably just gonna use a plastic card to get rid of the, all the adhesive and then I am gonna just use a coffee filter to get rid of this this old residue from the original Tim so let's get going <laughs>
Okay, so as you can see, I placed some just some regular scotch tape around the edges of the CPU die in order to protect it from the, the PCB from the tin that we're using because it can actually damage the rest of your CPU. You only want it on the die. So now that we got it all covered, we're just going to wipe it down one last time with a little alcohol here. Dry it off. Just to make sure. So now comes the fun part of putting on the Cool Labs Ultra liquid thermal interface material. So they say that you're just supposed to use a very, very thin amount. So we're just going to put on a little bit here. So we'll see how that does. And they also recommended cutting off the brush here, as you can see, cut it shorter so it doesn't wick up as much. Okay, so I just got a little tiny thin amount on the top there. So now comes the relitting. Which we will be using the relid tool for. And you just take your heat spreader. And there's your gold corner still. So it's still in there the same way it was before. We're just going to take this guy and gently place him on top. Here we go. So then they recommend you just use a little super glue here. I have Gorilla Super Glue. They use some Loctite, I believe. Um, just 10 second dry time, but you know, it takes 24 hours to fully cure type of stuff. But they recommend just putting a little bit on each corner of the IHS here. So that's what we're going to do. Oh. Okay, so now that's starting to just barely cure. You can see now that we put this little pressure plate on much the same way we put on the top for deleting it. So now you got this big screw that is going to come and push down on the IHS there. We're going to get that pretty tight just to make sure that it's all the way pushed down. And now they recommend for you to leave it for one to two hours, they say. Um, you can test how dry the super glue is by using a toothpick and just touching it. But we'll just leave it here for a while and we'll come back in a little bit and we'll see how it worked out. So we've got the CPU back in the socket now, and we're just going to put some Arctic Silver 5 on it. Okay. 
So now we're going to put the block back on. So there we have it. We've got the CPU reinstalled back in the PC. Now let's get on to some benchmarks. So there are seven total tests that I did to uh, just test the temperature. I took these tests both before and after the D-Lid. Um, all temperatures are in degrees Celsius. I measured all the CPU temps with HW monitor. Uh, the min and max values in HW monitor were reset before every bench or test. Um, all the ambient temperatures were recorded with a thermometer next to the intake of the PC. So this should be pretty much the exact air that's going into the PC and the temperature of it. Uh, the average max temperature was taken by adding up all of the cores max temperatures and then dividing it by four, obviously since it's a four core CPU. So the tests that I ran were Cinebench R15, uh, ROG Realbench V2.43 benchmark, which I did one pass with image editing H264 video encoding, uh, OpenCL, and heavy multitasking. Just every check mark was ticked. And then I also ran Realbench V2.43 stress test, which was just a 15 minute uh, stress test and it tests up to four gigabytes of RAM. Next on the list, we have 3DMark Fire Strike Extreme. This is just default settings without the intro. Then I chose Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and this was done by just playing the game at 1440p in all high settings and it was just uh, recorded over 10 minutes of roaming through White Orchard. Then up next is Doom. That was also played in 1440p on all high settings. Uh, it was just 10 minutes playing in campaign. And finally we just got uh, Idle Temperatures which is just recorded over a 10 minute period. Overall the average delta was minus 15.1 degrees Celsius for the hottest core decrease and the average max temp decreased by minus 0.1235 on average. I feel like this was just a good run of benchmarks that I could do. Um, real bench stress test is by far the, the most stressful test out of all of them, um, as you can see by the temperatures clearly. But overall I think I you know got a decent gambit of tests there. I hope that you guys are satisfied with the results. I know I sure am. I'm honestly impressed. I didn't expect this much in the least. I was honestly just hoping that I would still have a working CPU after this was all said and done. So thank you guys for watching. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day and I'm going to leave the rest up to you.